Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and today we are taking a look at the Placeable Factories Pellet Pack by Vanquish081. This is what you're going to make right here, a bunch of hay pellets. Now you're going to need some molasses and a couple other things to uh, create these. So if you haven't checked out that video on how to make molasses yet, I'm going to go ahead and link it up above. But first thing you're going to do is you need to come over here and actually turn it on. So you're going to hit your trigger right here, L3, and as you can see, you can only move one production level over to the other side. When you're ready, just go ahead and hit confirm and you're good to go. So now you've got it turned on, but what are you gonna need to put in there? Well, let's come across over here. First thing you're gonna need is some solid materials. All right, and you're gonna dump them in right here. And what are they gonna be? Well, it's gonna be chaff, hay, or grass, any three. So, I mean, if you just want to cut some grass, bring it over here and dump it in, that's going to be the most efficient for you because it just grows for free, right? And um, if you want to do chaff, if you get a bunch of it, cutting corn up or whatever like that, absolutely. Hey, I don't know, that's like an extra st step unless you're running maybe seasons. If you're running the seasons with this, um, if you're running seasons, though, you're going to need to make sure you're using the productions geo um, just to uh, as a heads up. And how much are you going to be able to fit in here? Well, max capacity is 100,000 liters. So next, what are you going to need? Well, we got to come across over here. And you've got two different colored tanks, all right? And one of them is going to be right here. It's got the 1M on it. And this is going to be molasses. And you're going to use the molasses. It's the only thing that I've been able to find, the only tank that you're going to be able to um, transport it in. And we covered that in the molasses video. So it's a little bit of a process, a little bit slow because it's smaller but you're not going to need a whole lot every single day anyway so all you do is back in right here the first trigger is right there and unload and next blue means oh oh molasses how much is the max capacity molasses it's 50,000 liters is the max capacity here on molasses so next you're going to need water right here in this blue tank you can see the one w and it's different from the one m m is molasses w is water and you're going to use just regular trailer whatever you have bring it into this second trigger right here and you're going to be good to go so max capacity on this is 200,000 liters it's quite a bit now once again you don't need to fill all these completely up to be able to use them as soon as you start putting anything in it's going to go ahead and start making it for you and what do we have right here right here you see that we have six pallets that's all you're going to get here that's full capacity on this uh, dock. And this is only going to be 12,600 liters. So each pallet is 2,100 liters. It's a little bit different than some of the other ones. I'm not sure why it's a unique value like that, but that's what it is. So this is going to make you 12,600 liters. And how long is it going to take? Well, since we only have one production value or production level, you know, it's going to take 2.15 days. And total production per day is 5,860 liters. And you may be wondering, well, how much water is that going to use? Right? Because we don't have fuel going in here. So it's going to be just water. And on water, it's going to use a total of 16,563 liters. So per day, that equals 7,704. That's pretty manageable. Next, we have molasses. How much molasses is it going to take? Well, it's going to take 4,141 liters. So per day, that's 1,926 liters. And the last one is going to be total um, your chaff, hay, or grass. How much is that going to take? It's only going to take 8,282. That's really, really easy. That's, you know, a little bit over two bales, you know, if you're running uh, grass and... Um, so you can sell all the rest of it, turn it into hay, whatever, bring a couple bales loose over here, and you're going to be good to go. So per day, that's 3,852, less than one bale, right? And you're going to be able to get some product out of here. Really, really cool. What is the average sell price of the hay pellets? Well, that's going to be 2,146. And how did I get that? I looked at the sale menu, looked, added up all the different prices from all the different locations, and then divided by the number of locations that I found. And that's 2146. So total hay pallet sale value is $27,040. Now, the really interesting thing about this is you don't have any fuel costs associated with. 
this, right? Your water can be absolutely free. Your grass you're going to cut, right? Or whatever you're going to do with that. And your molasses comes from your other plant. So your molasses you cannot buy. You only are able to make it. So you bring it straight over here. It's an output from that, input to this, so there's no cost associated with that. And what I mean by not having any cost is you're going to use this as a production chain, all right? The, there's really nothing you can do with these except sell them. You can't use them for anything. Um, the, the cow barn over here does not accept them at all. So you're just going to use these straight up as profit, okay? And your profit per day is going to be 12577 So it's a pretty decent, right? I mean, it's going to take a bit to get here. Um, the molasses is a little bit, I don't want to say slow, but being by only having that one trailer to be able to use, it it kind of it forces you to do smaller trips, right? Back and forth and back and forth. So I would make sure to have both of these set next to each other if you want to do this. Um, you know, this is another one of those that, like I said, you're not gonna be able to do anything with it other than sell. And like I said, there's plenty of places around the map to be able to sell them. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a really really cool. I wish you could use this for the animals. I really really do. I wish you could take this over there um, as hay and put it into the cows because the cows take hay, right? I don't have a sheep pen established right now, so I don't know if they could take it or not. But if the cows can't take it, I'm almost certain that the uh, the sheep can't either. So, um, you know, you're not going to be able to store them either. And the only way to transport these is with a tractor, a front uh, loader, um, or front lifter, sorry. That's the only way you're going to be able to do this. Um, so you are going to be able to use the auto load uh, deck that we were using before. So, I mean, it's it's not that it's a bad one, right? It's got its purpose, um, but it's just a little bit more difficult to use. So, it's the only thing I've got, and it's not even really a negative, right? I mean, everything about this is really, really cool. Um, I like the, the images on it. I mean, the, the, the animation, whatever it's filling, and everything like that. It just looks really, really cool and different, unique, for sure. Um... But there's just not much you can do with it. I mean, there's nothing you can do with it. So it's it's just a tricky one for me. Um, but I highly recommend going in and checking out a bunch of the other ones. If you want to add this into it, it's going to make a good line, right? You're going to be able to make some really, really good money off this. So that's going to be it, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest production chain or Placeable Factories videos that we have here, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night. Evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.